Like sands through the hourglass, so is the speed of internet service in rural America. These experiences are compiled through millions of true stories in small towns, and it's educational. How long will homework take tonight? What are you working on? I need to watch the I Have a Dream speech as part of my project on the civil rights. Excuse me, folks. Library's closed. You want to tell me why you're hanging out here in the parking lot? Well, we, uh... Satellite sucks. Computer downloaded a big patch. Blasted through our data cap at home. Um, what she said, I don't know how it works. I just pay the big bills to keep it going. What are you talking about? Here comes the librarian. Oh, are you the new deputy? Oh, this is something you'll see a lot. They have to use the internet from the library Wi-Fi so their kids can do their homework. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Hannah. Hey, Bill. Problems at home again? Yeah, it's our internet access again, and Hannah's got some fancy video project. Hey, Leslie, did you hear that the Watsons finally sold their house? Oh, it's such a nice house, but without any internet service, it just sat there on the market. They used to be here every night, couldn't get even satellite. Wait a minute. On Elm? That place on the corner? Man, I got such a good deal. Are you, are you sure there's no internet? I checked some online broadband map, and I called Charter. They said I could get service. Yeah, and that map says I have a choice from 10 providers. But no, some people get slow DSL that works as long as it isn't raining. The rest just eh, wait. You're a cop. Can't you arrest them for lying? I can't even do my homework. Yes, please. I want to see that. They refuse to build anything faster than a snail. They keep raising their bills and constantly lobby to stop anyone else from connecting us. The library only got a good connection last year. We didn't used to have anything even at the library. The entire county would lose service for half a day. No 911, no credit cards for businesses. Police couldn't even run license plates. It was scary. Wowzers. So what do they do about it? Well, some of the counties around here got smart and built their own network rather than paying through the nose to lease lines from the telephone company. But they only connected to city hall, library, and what we call community anchor institutions. So the rest of us are just stuck then. You know what I miss? Online banking. I'm tired of driving to get lunch money for this monkey. My cousin says that the co-op in North Dakota offers a gigabit to everyone. They had really nice internet when I visited. I'm going to look into that. We need something here, or Deputy Dave will be the last person to ever move in. What will become of Deputy Dave? Who connected those gigabit farms in North Dakota? Stay tuned for the continuing saga of From Crops to Co-Ops, Small Towns Want Better Internet Access.